The word synthesize most nearly means a. Divide b. Separate c. Proceed d. Combine The correct answer is D. Combine Explanation The words divide and separate both mean to split up, proceed means to begin or continue with a course of action. The word fragility most nearly means A. Delicacy B. Firmness C. Sturdiness D. Elasticity The correct answer is A. Delicacy Explanation If you can make out the word fragile in the word fragility, you may be reminded of something breakable or delicate. The word sturdiness means robust, or the opposite of delicate. Something with firmness is hard or rigid, and if something is elastic, it is stretchy or flexible. The word dossier most nearly means A. Testimony B. Theory C. Portfolio D. Clues The correct answer is C. Portfolio Explanation A testimony is a formal spoken or written statement, clues are pieces of evidence used to solve a crime or mystery, and a theory is a system of ideas that explain something. The word meticulous most nearly means A. Punctual B. Precise C. Careless D. Negligent The correct answer is B. Precise Explanation If someone is meticulous, they are carefully precise and exact, and pay attention to details. The opposite of meticulous would be careless, which means not giving enough attention to avoid harm or error. The word punctual means on time, and negligent means there was a failure to take proper care to do something. The word most opposite in meaning to the word vitalize is A. Invigorate B. Dishearten C. Inspire D. Prompt The correct answer is B. Dishearten Explanation Whereas vitalize is a positive word meaning to give energy, dishearten means causing someone to lose hope or confidence, which is the opposite. Inspire is to create the urge to do something, prompt means to cause or bring about something, and invigorate means to give energy or strength. The word sanctioned most nearly means A. Authorized. B. Appreciated. C. Irregular. D. Patronized. The correct answer is A. Authorized. Explanation If something is sanctioned, it is authorized or allowed. If something is appreciated, it is recognized for its worth. If something is irregular, it is not even or balanced. Depending on the context, patronized either means to talk down to or to frequent. The word retract most nearly means A. Advance B. Cancel C. Repeat D. Enforce The correct answer is 
B. Cancel. Explanation. While retract means to cancel or withdraw, advance means to move forward or lend. Enforce means to compel compliance or observance of something, and repeat means to do or say something again. The word elusive most nearly means A. Energetic B. Graphic C. Colorful D. Indirect The correct answer is D. Indirect Explanation Elusive means to talk around something, hint at, or be indirect. If something or someone is energetic, they are showing great activity. Depending on the context, colorful either means full of color or lively and exciting. Graphic refers to some type of visual art. The word most opposite in meaning to the word bigotry is A. Fairness B. Bias C. Moderateness D. Discrimination The correct answer is A. Fairness Explanation Bias means showing either favoritism or prejudice towards something or someone. Discrimination is the unfair treatment of someone or something, and moderateness is being within reasonable limits. Since bigotry is an intolerance of others where bias and discrimination are likely to be shown, fairness would be the most opposite in meaning. The word advocacy most nearly means a. Impeding b. Promoting c. Prosecuting d. Blocking The correct answer is b. Promoting Explanation Advocacy groups promote their cause to influence public opinion and gain support. Blocking and impeding both suggest an obstruction of movement or hindrance, and prosecuting is either continuing with a course of action until it is finished, or instituting legal proceedings against someone or something. The word adobe most nearly means a. Underground b. Headquarters c. Brick D. Consent. The correct answer is B. Brick. Explanation. If you consent, you give permission. Headquarters are the main office or base of a place, and underground is a place below the surface of the ground. The word nullify most nearly means a. Confine B. Rotify C. Void D. Free The correct answer is C. Void Explanation if you nullify something, you void it or invalidate it to cancel it out. Ratify means to sign or give a formal consent, free is to not be under the control or authority of another, and confine means to restrict someone or something. The word restitution most nearly means A. Take B. Damages C. Fine D. Stipend The correct answer is B. Damages Explanation A good first test for synonyms is to see if the two words can be used interchangeably in a sentence. In this case, you can pay restitution and you can pay damages. The word take can be immediately discarded as a possible answer because it is a verb and restitution is a noun. 
The term stipend usually means a fee paid to cover extra work on a job and the word fine is generally punishment for an offense. A fine can be a restitution for something, but this is not always the case, so damages is the best choice for the answer. Note that the answer choice is damages, not damage. Damages is a synonym for restitution and is used here as a noun, as opposed to the word damage. The word perforate most nearly means a. Smooth b. Please c. Puncture d. Excite The correct answer is C. Puncture Explanation Perforate means to poke holes into or puncture. If something is smooth, it has an even, regular surface. Please is to cause to feel happy or satisfied. To excite is to cause strong feelings of enthusiasm. The word demurral most nearly means A. Agreement B. Hastening. C. Disagreement. D. Liberating. The correct answer is C. Disagreement. Explanation. Demurral is a form of polite disagreement, agreement would be the opposite. Hastening means being quick to do something, and liberating is setting someone or something free, often from a bad situation such as slavery or imprisonment. The word crevasse most nearly means A. Peak B. Ravine C. Juncture D. River The correct answer is B. Ravine Explanation A river is a large flowing stream of water that may have started as a trickle of water passing through a ravine or crevasse. Geographically speaking, a peak is the point at the top of a mountain. A juncture is a particular point in time or an event. The word intrinsic most nearly means A. Layered B. Separated. C. Accidental. D. Built in. The correct answer is D. Built in. Explanation If something is intrinsic, it is naturally inside or built in. If things are layered, they are overlapping. Things that are accidental happen unexpectedly or by chance, and separated is divided or moved apart. The word predisposed most nearly means A. Removed B. Ready C. Unwilling D. Prone The correct answer is D. Prone Explanation If you are predisposed to something, you are prone to it or more inclined to it. Removed means taken away. If people are unwilling, they are not ready or prepared to do something, and if they are ready, then it means they are available or prepared. The word insignia most nearly means A. Formality B. Dignity. C. Trademark. D. Indecency. The correct answer is C. Trademark. Explanation. A trademark identifies or represents a particular product in the same way that insignia identifies or represents a particular rank or membership in an organization. Formality is the rigid observance of a convention, indecency is morally objectionable behavior, 
and dignity is the state of being worthy of respect. The word quiescence most nearly means a. Dormancy b. Promotion c. Revival d. Continuance The correct answer is a. Dormancy Explanation Quiescence means dormancy or suspension of an activity. A continuance keeps an activity going, a revival restarts an activity, and a promotion furthers the progress of a cause, person, or event. The word stalwart most nearly means a. Coward b. Loyal c. Modest d. Shy The correct answer is b. Loyal Explanation a stalwart person is loyal and reliable. Modest describes someone who is unassuming about their abilities, while a coward is someone who lacks courage. Someone who is shy is nervous or timid in front of others. The word ensconce most nearly means a. Nestle b. Restrict c. Exhibit d. Destroy The correct answer is A. Nestle Explanation When one is ensconced they are nestled or settled in some place. To destroy is to put the end to the existence of something, often in a violent way. To exhibit is to publicly show something, and if you restrict something, you put a limit on it. The word circumvent most nearly means A. Release b. Concise c. Avoid d. Allow The correct answer is c. Avoid Explanation If you circumvent something, you work or talk around it in order to avoid it. To release is to set free, allow is to give the necessary time or opportunity to do something. If someone is concise, they speak briefly but give all of the necessary information. The word eminent most nearly means a. Dominant b. Immediate c. Distinguished d. Forthcoming The correct answer is C. Distinguished Explanation Be careful not to confuse this with the homonym eminent, which means to come immediately. Eminent people are distinguished and esteemed. If something is forthcoming, it is planned for in the near future, if it is immediate, it is instant. Things that are dominant are the most powerful or influential. The word pliable most nearly means a. Inflexible b. Mild c. Malleable d. Gentle The correct answer is c. Malleable Explanation Things that are flexible or malleable are pliable and easily bent or changed. The opposite of pliable is inflexible or unable to bend or compromise. Gentle means kind and tender, and if something is mild it is gentle or not provoked easily. She was conversant in Spanish, German, and English. The word conversant, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Versed b. Unskilled. C. 
ignorant d canonical the correct answer is a versed explanation people who are conversant have a familiarity or knowledge about something Unskilled and ignorant are antonyms to conversant as they mean lacking in skill or being uneducated. Something relating to a general rule or scientific law is canonical. The defendant asked for clemency in his sentencing. The word clemency, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Time b. No mercy c. Brevity D. Leniency. The correct answer is D. Leniency. Explanation. Clemency can be thought of as leniency, fairness, or compassion, which a defendant might ask for when being sentenced. Brevity is the shortness of time, which a defendant might also ask for but clemency is the better choice. The other answer choices would not apply here. The harvest of grapes was extremely abundant this year. The word abundant, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Plentiful b. Bitter c. Scarce d. Sparse The correct answer is A. Plentiful Explanation An abundant harvest is one that is plentiful. If something is sparse or scarce, it is thinly dispersed or insufficient for demand. If something is bitter, it has a sharp, unsweet taste. The word per blindly, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means A. Recklessly b. Carefully c. Willfully d. Cautiously The correct answer is a. Recklessly Explanation Swerving purblindly suggests striving in a reckless manner. Antonyms to purblindly would be carefully and cautiously, indicating that something is done with great care or in a cautious manner. If something is done willfully, it is voluntary and deliberate. Kevin's dad said he would contemplate the decision before giving an answer. To contemplate, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Ponder b. Disregard c. Observe. D. Discount. The correct answer is A. Ponder. Explanation. It seems Kevin's dad is going to think about or ponder his decision before giving an answer. To observe is to notice something, discount is to deem something unworthy of consideration, and to disregard is to ignore, none of which fit the context of the sentence. The newly painted wall did not quite have the luster she was looking for. The word luster, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Opacity b. Mat c. Sheen d. Darkness. The correct answer is C. Sheen. Explanation. The newly painted wall likely didn't have the sheen or shine she was looking for. Darkness is the absence of light, matte is a dull or flat surface, and opacity refers to a lack of transparency. The amalgamation of the two companies was seen as almost inevitable. The word amalgamation, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means 
A. Success. B. Union. C. Profitability. D. Closure. The correct answer is B. Union. Explanation. The two companies merged into one union because amalgamation is the act of combining or uniting. Although the newly united company may have made more money and had increased profitability, there is no indication of that from the sentence. Its successor accomplishments are also not indicated, nor is there a sense there was a closure or shutting down of the companies. Susan was going to concoct a scheme to get him to pay for the bill. To concoct, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Vamp b. Devise c. Manipulate d. Frame The correct answer is b. Devise Explanation if you concoct something, you devise or make it up. To frame means to produce false evidence against, which sounds possible in terms of tone in this sentence, but it is not the best grammatical fit. The options of manipulate, to handle or control, and vamp, to repair or improve, don't fit the context of the sentence. The chef hoped the meal would be as savory as he had described it. The word savory, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Insipid. B. Pleasant. C. Sweet. D. Searing. The correct answer is B. Pleasant. Explanation. If something is savory, it means it is pleasing to the taste typically due to salty or spicy seasoning. This makes the word sweet an antonym. Searing means very hot, and insipid means lacking flavor. The sergeant ordered him to duty at the nearby bivouac. The word bivouac, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Encampment b. Pontoon c. Concession D. Building. The correct answer is A. Encampment. Explanation. One definition for bivouac is a type of temporary encampment. A pontoon is a flat bottom boat. A building is a structure with a roof and walls, but it is too general a term for this definition. A concession is a thing that is granted, often in response to a demand. She was surprised by the terse reply to her question. The word terse, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Gentle b. Abrupt c. Lengthy d. Compact The correct answer is B. Abrupt Explanation Being surprised by an abrupt answer to a question makes sense if you were expecting a more patient response. If the response was gentle or of mild temperament, it wouldn't have caused surprise. Something of considerable length is lengthy, and compact refers to something that is dense or tightly put together. While compact may also be used to describe how the speaker packages words in a terse statement, the word abrupt is closer in meaning to terse and so is the better choice. Terry had no objections to the dissolution of the contract agreement. The word dissolution, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Disintegration b. Degeneration c. Construction D. Detachment.
The correct answer is A. Disintegration Explanation If dissolution makes you think of dissolve or something that disintegrates, then you likely selected the correct answer. The degeneration of something means it has sunk below its class or type and has begun to decay or decline. An antonym to dissolution would be construction or the building up and creating of something. Detachment is used to describe someone being aloof or objective and does not fit the context of this sentence. We commiserated with the families of the fallen soldiers. The word commiserated, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. Capitalized b. Cooperated c. Participated d. Sympathized The correct answer is D. Sympathized Explanation The context clue of fallen soldiers suggests this is an act of sadness or sympathy. Commiserate may remind you of misery, unhappiness, or distress, which would evoke feelings of sympathy. Capitalized is taking a chance to gain advantage from, participated is to take part, and cooperated is to work toward the same end. The house was built with a staunch foundation. The word staunch, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means a. small b. stiff c. strong d. rugged The correct answer is C. Strong. Explanation. Staunches of strong or firm construction. Although stiff is a close definition, it is not the best one. Small indicates size and rugged means uneven or irregular, which wouldn't be good for a house's foundation. His speech impediment was a factor in not getting the promotion. The word impediment, as it is used in the sentence, most nearly means A. Hindrance B. Style C. Eminence D. Expression The correct answer is A. Hindrance Explanation an impediment is something that impedes or gets in the way, a hindrance or obstacle. Eminence is a recognized superiority, style is a manner of doing something, and expression is making one's thoughts or feelings known.